Hi friends, this is a case of upper right second premolar tooth which had a periapical lesion and very huge restorations in the mesial and distal aspects. The patient reported to our clinic with a fractured palatal cusp. Here the palatal cusp has uh, broken along with the mesial restoration also. The tooth has very uh, little amount of uh, structure so, and only a buccal aspect of the tooth is remaining. The actual treatment plan was to extract the tooth and give an implant. But this patient himself, a dentist, he don't want to go for an extraction and he wanted to save the tooth by any means. So we planned for a pre-endo buildup, root canal with post and core and crown lengthening, then a full crown. But to do a proper pre-endo buildup with composite material, we definitely need a very great isolation. But generally in these kind of cases, uh, we use an auto matrix and around the auto matrix, we put a split dam. The gap between the matrix and the split dam will be sealed with liquid dams. To do that, at least we have to get a proper seal between the matrix and the gingival margins of this tooth. But it was not possible in this case because the margins were too deep, almost 3 mm. So what we have planned is to use an electrocautery between the matrix and the tooth surface so that we will get some amount of decent isolation without any fluid seepage so that we can do a pre and double dub with GIC material. Yeah, now we have achieved some amount of isolation without any fluid seepage so that we can now do a GIC pre and build up. Once the GIC pre and build up is done, now we can apply the rubber dam in a regular manner. Root canal treatment has been started through the GAC pre endo buildup. The root canal treatment is completed. Now you can see a down pack of GP and remaining part of the canal is prepared for the post receival. Now our new technique follows. If we have to do a post and core, the remaining GAC will be uh, questionable in terms of strength when we are going for a full coverage restoration. So what we plan to remove all the GAC material and to retain only a rim of GAC in the periphery. To do this we have to have very precise technique and we should not damage the remaining tooth structure. The tooth structure is already very minimal which is available for bonding with composite material. So we have to eliminate the GAC very precisely. As you can see in the video, we are very gently removing only the GAC part and very hardly we are touching the dentin surface. Of course, the dentin surface is necessary to get bonded with the composite material in the following steps, but we should not damage too much of dentin surface. The GAC pre endo buildup was done uh, over contoured. It has been purposely over contouredly uh, built because only then we can eliminate the GAC wherever the core supposed to come and remaining part of the GAC will retain as a matrix. Only then it can act as a matrix. Doing a over contoured pre endo buildup is very much important in this procedure because only if the pre-endo buildup is over contoured we can eliminate the GAC or the pre-endo buildup which is in the place of actual core. If it is not over contoured the remaining part of the GAC will be very thin and that will be broken off during the procedure that we never want to happen. So again we are stressing on this technique that we have to do a over contoured pre endo build up so that the remaining part of the restoration can hold some stress during the post placement and core build up. In this particular case, the post and the core is solely retained into the tooth only by the means of bonding. For the bonding to happen, the isolation is the far more important thing. So here the isolation is very much crucial. In this case of extreme deep margin, we have elevated the margin with the proper isolation with the technique of GAC matrix as a creative matrix technique or a stress-free deep margin elevation technique.
I hope this new technique will be helpful for many of us when we are facing such a kind of very deep margins. Now the rim of GAC is going to act like a matrix which has a complete seal which never allows any fluid seepage inside. All the GAC has been removed which was bonding on the tooth. Now all the tooth surface is available for bonding with composite material restoration along with post and core. And now after achieving a proper isolation, I am injecting a dual cure core material into the post space and core space as well together. After that, I am placing the post, a fiber post which is pre-checked into the place and checking its position properly and then light curing it. After light curing, the excess fiber post has been cut off. With this, we have finished our treatment with the proper isolation, root canal treatment and post and core has been done. Remaining part that is our crown lengthening and full crown uh, will be done by a prosthodontist that will be continued with his uh, on clinic. This IOPA shows the post op of uh, root canal and post and core. This picture shows the crown lengthening. Uh, here we have uh, elevated the margins so that we can keep our margins of the crowns easily. Thank you for watching.